Hey, what is up guys, Dripto here. Today I'm here to show you a tutorial on how to make a data dictionary. So basically a data dictionary is a comprehensive description of each field in the database. So the first thing you're going to want to do is drop a six uh, column wide table. So I'll just go here, get six columns. Alright, so in the six columns, in the first one it is field name, then field size, whoops, <laughs> Um, then data type, data format, description, and then example. So the field name is the name of the field that's in the table. The field size is the, um, the amount of characters that is needed for the field name. Um, it's better to have the lowest number possible for this, for this size of the dictionary to be uh, less, as in like the file size and all that. The data, the data type is the um, type of data that's in the dictionary. The, the most common data types are text, linear, boolean, uh, date slash time, and currency. Then there's the data format. Um, the data format is just the format of, that the data has been set in. The description, which is basically just a description of what a of the field name and like what it is. And then the example. Um, so this is just an example of a field name. So I'll just go through a quick one now for you guys. So this field name, we could write uh, first name. So we'll start off with an example. So we'll go trip dot. You know, because we're funny. I'm kidding. Field size. Um, now names could vary from English names to Arabic names to French names. I don't know. So a good size is probably 20 for a first name. Data type. Um, so the data type for this is all text. So it's just going to be text. The data format. Um, this. Uh, this, you don't have a data format for this, so you just leave that out. If you're drawing up a data dictionary, you'll just draw a line like that. You just draw one. And then under the description, we'll just write first name of person. I don't know. Alright, now the next one, let's say address. Um, so a good example for this, let's say 123 Fake Street, just to be like The Simpsons. So good field size for an address is 40. Uh, since this is both text and numbers, um, the good data type for this would just be text. Data format, once again, just like the name, it can vary between heaps, so there's no data format for that. Um, the description, uh, we'll just write address of person, I don't know. <laughs> and then let's say the personal ID number. All right. So an example for this could be uh, PID for personal ID, and then one, two, three. I don't know. Oh, sorry. And then um, so the field size for this would since there's only six and the personal ID number is only six um, letters or numbers, the field size would be six. The text type, uh, there's both letters and numbers, so it's text. The data format would be uh, LLL for letter, LLL. Then the numbers, NNN. Then the description, personal ID number of person. And then um, if we want to use something else, so let's say um, field name, let's say gender. So the example, let's say it's just M for male. The field size would be 1. And in this case, since it's only 1 in the field size and all that, this one would be a Boolean. So it could be yes or no, so Y or N, or, um, you know, it's just something like that. So the data format would just be... L for letter, and this would be gender of person. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much just a um, very basic data dictionary. Hopefully, this hope you guys um, enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to slap that like button, comment on what you thought of the video, hit that subscribe button for more content. Thank you guys for watching.
Peace out.